The best DC movie yet or a soul-sucking vortex of mediocrity? Twitter users have given their unfiltered reviews of The Flash, and they didn't hold back. Ever since Warner Bros. Discovery got serious about building a shared DC film universe, numerous heroes and villains have received individual live-action movies. Wonder Woman, Shazam, Aquaman, and more have taken the silver screen by storm. Well, at long last, the Scarlet Speeder has zoomed into cinemas for a theatrical adventure all his own. A solo adventure he shares with Supergirl, an alternate universe version of Barry Allen, and Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton's respective takes on Batman. Let's get nuts. As is a trend in superhero media at the moment, The Flash is a multiverse tale through and through. When Barry takes it upon himself to rewrite history, he mistakenly causes multiple timelines to converge on one another to disastrous effect. Thus, it's his job to restore order to the multiverse by any means necessary. This premise and its execution led to Rotten Tomatoes being filled with mixed reviews from critics, who got to see the movie early. Now, their online assessments of the film are joined by those of fans who wasted no time checking it out. With the theatrical run of The Flash officially underway, here's what some of the first moviegoers to see it had to say about it. Despite endorsements from the likes of James Gunn and Stephen King touting it as the be-all and end-all comic book movies out of its premiere, many DC fans feel that The Flash doesn't make it anywhere close to that level. Suffice to say, they weren't afraid to dive into why. One user said, Just watch The Flash, pretty mediocre at times, and really bad most of the other times. It's like a 4 out of 10. I can't say I liked anything about the movie, even though I am really trying to find something redeeming about it. Another fan wasn't impressed by the film either, claiming that not even the copious easter eggs could save the poor dialogue, story, and CGI. Meanwhile, the third Twitter user, who, to be fair, tends to give over-the-top reviews, wrote, The Flash is a soul-sucking vortex of wasted potential and creative bankruptcy. I knew you were going to say this. Yes. Even though the title of the movie is The Flash, one fan feels the only good part of the movie is Michael Keaton's Batman. Speaking of supporting characters, another user who also didn't care for the CGI and overall narrative believes the feature doesn't do nearly enough with Supergirl. Of course, even as a good chunk of the DC fandom took to social media to dunk on The Flash for one reason or another, many still took to Twitter with supporting comments on the film. One fan came up with quite a positive review, tweeting, The Flash is the movie event of the year. Action, emotion, and story is the best in the DCEU. Ezra Miller is great. Michael Keaton stands out in his scenes. There are so many Easter eggs that DC fans will love. And that ending cameo, so unexpected but worth it. Another user found The Flash to be a top-tier multiverse story. And while they admitted that it's far from perfect, a third fan appreciated the movie's blend of fun and emotion. One fan who caught the film even compared it to some of the most influential superhero movies of all time, writing, The Flash is the greatest DCEU-era movie of them all. It's like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 had a baby with Batman 89, with the heart and sincerity of Superman 78. Taking these fan reactions into consideration, it seems that The Flash will prove yet another polarizing entry into the DC adaptation library. It's currently playing exclusively in theaters, so you can check it out for yourself.